Hey guys, welcome to Supercars. Oh. Hey guys, I'm back on the video blogs. Like I said yesterday on Twitter, although my um, camera is playing up a bit, which is uh, very frustrating. Hopefully I can get through today's video blog, which is going to give you an insight and a bit of an explanation into how I managed to buy the Audi R8 and also what I do for a living. As you can see, I'm in the SB Race Engineering office, which I spend quite a lot of my time which means my car spends quite a lot of time down there, which you've probably seen quite a lot of photos. There it is, next to an F40, which is uh, pretty insane. First of all, I want to say that I want to get back into these video blogs, try and give you a daily update on the Supercars of London YouTube channel, um, and also um, involve you as well. So if you have any comments or you have any challenges or suggestions on what you want me to film on the video blogs, please let me know in the comment, be comment box below, mucking up my words already. Um, and I'll be hopefully being able to get back on YouTube quite a lot, replying to comments and reading as much as possible. Over the last two weeks, it's been near impossible and um, my time or my free time has diminished very, very uh, quickly. So let's start with um, going back to 2006. So this is going to be really embarrassing for me. I'm going to sit down like I'm always walking around. Um, excuse my smart attire. I was at a uh, business meeting this morning. So we'll start back in 2006 when I got taken up to central London by my dad for the first time whilst I was doing a GCSE art project. I had to go to the Victorian Albert uh, Art Museum. If you've been to it, you'll know that it's seriously boring if you're not into art. If you're into art, it's probably quite enjoyable. Um, if you haven't been to it and you're into art, go. If you haven't been and you're not into art, don't go. Hang around outside and check out the supercars that drive past because it's in a very wealthy area of London. And that's where I first saw Aston Martins, Ferraris and all of those sorts of cool cars, which um, inspired me to take photos and show my friends at school the following morning. Now, in London, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of black cabs, a lot of red buses that get in the way of your photos, which was really frustrating as I was only taking photos on a really poor mobile phone. So I um, saved up my pocket money because back in the day, that was what I was given. I was given about 20 pounds a month, I think. I think that was my allowance. So I saved up and I bought a mobile phone that had a video camera and then the uh, filming of Supercars was born. And I was only around 16 years old at that time. Um, and Supercars of London was still a few years off, but me and my friend, we went into central London and we began filming cars and having mini competitions on our own respective YouTube channels. And mine was seriously embarrassing. I'm gonna spell it out on my YouTube uh, in this video now, my username on YouTube was Sexy Man Bud Bud. Yeah, yeah, that was hard for me to say. So when I was 15, 16 years old, that was my YouTube uh, channel, Sexy Man Bud Bud. Um, and then two years later, uh, we created Supercars of London. And in 2008, Supercars of London were born. So let's check out my laptop and go back to some of the first videos we were able to film back in like 2006, 2007, um, those sorts of years. I'm trying to find the old videos where the pixels were awful and Supercars of London did get a lot of stick for making really bad quality videos which was a bit of our trademark if I was um, to say anything on how Supercars of London got to where it is today. We were very good at getting awesome clips in really bad quality which annoyed a lot of our viewers and I'm sure that there's um, some people out there watching this video uh, from day one. This is a great one. Check out the pixels on this if I blow it up. There you go. If you can see there's a Zonda F Roadster there. So there you go, the Zonda F goes down the road, and here you can see advertisement. And to begin with, on Supercars of London, check me out sitting in the boss's chair at SB Race Engineering whilst he's on holiday. The advertisement kicked in around a year after Supercars of London was created. 
Google bought YouTube and uh, began monetizing the popular videos. And to begin with, our YouTube videos were getting around five to 10,000 hits per video, which was pretty cool, but that was over a period of time. And um, our subscribers began to develop. And um, if I was gonna start talking about my subscribers from 2008, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you how many I got. But over the years, uh, because Supercars of London was one of the first car spotting channel is one of the first people to uh, record cars albeit on really really awful technology that was uh, that gave us the uh the advantage over quite a lot of the car YouTube channels of today. And when I came out of university, I think that was 18 months ago now, um I went full time, full steam ahead on my YouTube channel and you probably saw a huge amount of activity increasing. A few daily videos and then during the summer of last year I was uploading one, maybe two videos per day and then obviously my first supercar came about and then I bought the Audi R8 in April, I think it was. But obviously that is the most uh, simplest of stories. Let's go back to 2008, Supercars of London started, or was it 2008? And then in 2009, I uh, got an awesome work experience placement at HR Rowan, which is a Ferrari and Maserati dealership, which uh, gave me a lot of experience in the automotive industry. I learned about buying and selling cars. I learned about online marketing. I learned about online advertising. And HR Rowan was a really great stepping stone for me to learn quite a lot of stuff about supercars. I learned a lot about Ferrari and I learned a lot about Maserati. I still have no idea about anything to do with the engines or how you fix it, things like that. I never learned that side of stuff. I got uh, a few rides in some amazing cars, Ferrari Enzo 599, 458s when they first came out. So they were sort of really cool. And um, then I went off to university to study business management. Whilst I was at university, um, came up with the idea of creating the supercar scene. The supercar scene is a website based um, at people like me and like you, all huge car petrol heads that love filming and photographing cars. The supercar scene is aimed at um, giving a lot more YouTubers, a lot more Facebook photographers, Flickr follow, uh, photographers, things like that. That bit of extra exposure. Um, and having the website there, it was fantastic to meet a lot of businesses that were also looking to gain exposure and I was able to offer them some awesome advertising opportunities and getting them the exposure that they needed for their businesses to grow. So that's where Supercar Scene started and probably where the money started to come in a little bit better. Um, so I had the YouTube Supercars of London which was earning some great money from the revenue from the advertisements. I was getting around 1.5 to 2 million views per month and that equates to around about 1500 to 2000 pounds per month which is brilliant because I was only 17 18 years old at the time and it was um, a lot of money I'd never experienced money like that before because my family come from a very normal background. I think my dad drives some sort of 1998 Toyota RAV4 which is highly embarrassing and my mum drives a 2004 Vo Ford Focus, not the Vox Astra, that was my car. So my mum drives a 2004 Ford Focus, which um, she loves and has had for about 10, 12 years or something like that, um, and was my technically my first car. Uh, my mum insured me on it when I passed my driving test, and then two years later, no, no, four years later, because I passed my test at 17, and at 21, I bought my first car, the Vauxhall Astra. I kept that for two years, and in those two years, supercar scene grew, Supercars of London grew. I was able to complete my business degree um, at the Winchester University, great university, lots of cool people down there. My business lecturer actually invested in my whole um, idea, uh, built a couple of websites, and really kick started uh, the networking, introduced me to a lot of really cool people. And over the time that I created Supercars of London, I was really able to use the Supercars of London as the driving force, pardon the pun into creating my sort of um, little entrepreneurial car, supercar empire. No, that's really cringing. Um Going back to Supercars of London was created in 2008. I got 
some fantastic experience in 2009 with HR Owen working with Ferrari and Maserati. In 2010, I started my business management university degree. And in 2011, Supercar Scene was created. And in my second year at university, Supercar Scene uh, Limited uh, took over Supercars of London. They became two working brands together. They sponsor each other and they work fantastic together. And once I had uh, the limited company, I was able to really get myself next Networking. I met a lot of fantastic people like Aspect Valeting, Ben, who you've met in one of my video <laughs> blogs, um, Opulent Cars, who sponsor the car, uh, also Parata della Strada, who unfortunately I'm not wearing today because I was at a business meeting and um, all my polos were in the wash. Um, but we met some fantastic companies. And then once I finished university and graduated last year, I went full steam ahead. I was working stupid hours. Um, I think I was probably working mm, 10 to 15 hours per day. So yeah, there's my car next to an F40, which makes my car look like a hatchback. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, over the next coming days, um, I'll be reading as many comments as possible. My video camera is about to die of battery. Over the next couple of days, please comment below on any sort of challenges that you have, any video ideas that you want me to film, um, and I'll do my best to uh, see all of the comments and also write a list of all of the videos that I need to produce for you guys, which is the whole reason why I'm doing these video blogs and also doing these videos. So I'm going to be heading into central London tonight, probably until about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning so it's going to be another late one and I was up at five o'clock this morning to go to a meeting so that is uh, the sort of the best description that I can give you of what my life is like at the moment uh, running supercars of London running supercar scene and also trying to create some new brands some new ideas and um, I'm just enjoying what I'm doing at the moment which is fantastic um, and I'm so appreciative of all you guys that watch my videos that support me uh, like comment share everything that you do to help me go keep going with these videos is um, an absolute blessing so thank you very much for everyone who has watched Supercars of London, subscribed and continues to watch all of my videos. Um, it's truly amazing and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to find out more about what I do, what the Supercar scene is, who I work for and all of the companies uh, that work with the supercar scene then just head over to the various Twitter accounts that are all linked together It's um, a fantastic network and I love running it and um, I'm out of breath now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video It's been quite a difficult one for me to film. I'm running out of battery I hope you guys have enjoyed and learned a little bit about the supercars of London story and about how I've been able to buy the um, Audi R8 the team Ironman Audi R8 which is outside and a quick uh, teaser if you like this Saturday in uh, central London I'm going to be driving my car around we've got a really really cool film crew if you want to see my car and me um, dr filming probably one of my biggest and most looking forward to and anticipated videos um, then definitely head down to central London I'm going to be driving around Oxford Street Regent Street Piccadilly Circus Covent Garden Knightsbridge Harrods so all of the um, really cool touristy places then definitely head down and um, try and catch me driving my car with a film crew we're going to be doing something amazing so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I hope I haven't been too boring and um, I look forward to reading all of your comments suggestions challenges all of those very very soon so um take care thank you for watching cheers guys